Well, welcome to the Cooking Corner. We're happy to welcome back our friend, Sharon Stroud, doing an overnight apple pie oatmeal. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Okay, so you've got the ingredients. It looks healthy, like a good snack for springtime, maybe. It's a good snack. It's a good dessert. It's a great breakfast. And if you throw it in a little jar, it's ready to go. And you can eat it on the way to work That's or wherever. That's always best. I like that. Or it's just handy to have it in there to grab and just eat it right out of the jar. Now we want to start our day with a good healthy breakfast that has protein and good fiber in it. And so that's what we're going to have here. But it tastes like a decadent dessert. So it's going to be easy to get the kiddos to eat this. So we're going to start out with the spices. We've got our oats right here. And cinnamon is a very healthy spice. Not only does it make things taste good and make them taste sweeter, it helps keep the blood sugar at an even keel. Okay, that's positive. We just that's, don't want something sweet. And then what's next? What is that? This is nutmeg. Okay, so nutmeg. So I, sticking to the, to the little pinch bowl there, I freshly ground some of that. Those are the two predominant spices in your apple pie. And we're gonna add some fiber to it chia seed and we also have some pecans lots of protein in both lots of fiber in the chia seed lots of fiber in the um, oats do you want to stir that for me sure and i'll finish chopping these apples i've got this big beautiful honey crisp apple here that has a special type of fiber in it that's pectin fiber that's particularly good for the heart and the whole body and so stir it up really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to add the milk. And we're using a special milk today. We're okay, using, what's the special milk? This is coconut milk. What's the difference between that and regular milk? Well, this is plant-based, so it's from coconuts. So it's better for you. Well, <laughs> it just depends, you know. Um, some people are vegans. They don't want to use cow's milk, which is, you know, it, milk is a high allergen food for a lot of people. So we're also adding some... One of my favorites, Greek, Greek yogurt. yogurt. Yes, plain Greek yogurt. What this does is this adds friendly bacteria for the gut. And man, it tastes so good in there. It gives it a little tang to contrast with the sweet. And then we're gonna put the apples in. And these apples are so delicious, they're crisp. Red foods are really good for the heart. And this fiber in here is so good. And this makes it taste like dessert. And we'll stir this up really good. And you can store it in a mason jar. You can store it in a container. I just like the convenience of mason jars. Plus, I like the fact that glass keeps food really fresh rather than plastic. So it never tastes like the refrigerator if it's in there for a few days. And mason jars are cheap. Anybody can afford them, and they store the food very nicely. Quick and ready to go. Thank That's you, Sharon right. Stroud, as always, for joining us. What a great dish. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this quick break.